What's up, White Boy Lockdown family? It's Big Matt, and I'm here to keep it funky about cell phones in prison. All right, this this one here, I wanted to uh, speak on about a little bit now for some time. I said some things about this in some very early videos, um, especially when I put like 1090 or KFrog, uh, Pino in the tags or whatever, you know, because I didn't know what I was really doing with the YouTube thing. Um, so I did say some of this video bits and pieces here and there, but I wanted to wrap it up to one video, right? You know, cell phone in prison is, is a very dangerous thing. And when I say that, um, it, it, it's, it's for both sides of the fence. You know, um, you, can, you can bet your life that correction officers 1,000% without a doubt absolutely hate cell phones. Um, it's it's you know it's common sense um, you know you could take pictures of the food you know you could it's you know it's one thing if you get into it with a CO a correction guard sells you out he's being real nasty to you it's one thing for you to read read his little name tag and then you got to go back to the <clears throat> pod and ask for a request slip and write a grievance on him but that grievance is then submitted back to an officer that's his homeboy. He's gonna throw it away, or he's gonna submit it and call the captain or the sergeant. And be like, "Hey, man, Big Matt, you know, just you know, wrote one on uh, Officer Jones." And then, you know, whoop de do. Two, three days later, they're gonna hem me up for something. That's just the way prison is. So it's common sense why a CO would hate a cell phone. You know, you can call the old lady, the mom, whatever. Hey, man, call the institution. Say Jones was messing with blah blah blah. You know, and you got them like that, okay? First time in prison, there wasn't a lot of cell phones. Second time is flooded, all right? But not any, not everybody can have a cell phone, and that's what this video is about. You know, the institution don't like cell phones. I just broke down a correction officer. The prison hates it because, look, take away the inmates and take away the correction officers for a second. You have institutions, the, the, the main players in a facility. They don't have nothing to do with hands-on stuff. They cannot have, you know, there could be a dude in there, uh, you know, with a, with a restraining order, a real, a, like a, you know, judges give you a life sentence. So, some cases, man, you can't talk to, you know, the victim forever, okay? You know, um, some dudes don't have life sentences. Some dudes have a, an amount of time. You know, maybe they're looking at 20 years, but all they gotta do is, you know, if they go to pen and paper, and write the victim, that's evidence. But if they have a random phone inside the institution, not the pay phone where they can they can track it, a random cell phone they can call and beg and plead or pay the victim to drop whatever charges going on, that things happen, right? Which is not supposed to happen. And then you have the third side of things, which is uh, inmates. And this is why not every inmate can have a cell phone, man. Um, look, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, okay? If you are by yourself, okay, if you're not affiliated, okay, you're not banging what a set, you can forget about a cell phone, 1,000%. Anyone else telling you that is so full of crap. Okay, look, for myself, I don't have a patch. I'm not part of an organization. I was almost in two different ones, right? Um, you know, I still didn't want a cell phone. Did I use one? Every chance I could. But I would rather hustle on the compound, make money off the land, and go rent one for a little bit, or go use one for somebody that I knew, than have to own it. Look, man, one of my hustles in prison was I had, you know, F books, 30 books, you know, not, you know, cherries and not playboys, but you know, hustlers and cherries and that I would rent them out. You know, what the first thing that I would do when I would get a magazine, the first thing that I would do, because I'm gonna use it, sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the maintenance man and get plastic tape and, and tape every single page front and back, absolutely. And I'm also gonna get a magic marker and number the pages because if you have a greenhorn trying to hustle, they're gonna, you know, someone's gonna say, "Hey, man, let me let me use that book." 
go in the back stall, handle his business, and he's gonna he's gonna pick his favorite chick out and rip the page out. You know, he just rented the, the book from you, but he just he just hustled you at the same time. He finessed you. Okay? So the first thing that I would do would before I taped them and before I numbered them, I would go and flip it and I would go in there and back the back stall and use it before anybody could hit hit, hit the girls. But you know, in every anybody who's ever read a, a, a looked at a dirty magazine, you know, I'm sure it's been some years, but you know, it, it, it never fails. Always somewhere in the middle, towards the end, there's the weirdo stuff. You see, uh, uh, you know, chicks with dicks and the advertisement uh, section, weirdo stuff. Rip, rip, rip. Throw it in the garbage. That's how weird prison is. I had just got one in one time. I had just got one in. I rip all the weirdo stuff out. I remember. Four pages. Throw it. I don't throw it right on top of the garbage can because the garbage can is directly where the CO walks in and out. So when he walks, if he throws something away, he's gonna see someone has a, 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 an F book and then and then shake it down. But I tucked it down there. And I was in the process of taping them and numbering them. And I remember I made a goulash. Uh, a matter of fact, JD on the channel was in in this story. And uh, I never forget. I, after making my goulash and, and doing this process, setting it up or whatever, I went to go throw the garbage from the goulash, you know, the wrappers of the chips, the soup, mayonnaise packs, whatever have you. Whatever. Went to go throw it out and some weirdo creeped the weirdo pages. I'm telling you, okay? But anyhow, if you have a, 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 the same example applies. Somebody will try to creep the pages out of your book, okay? If you have a cell phone, man, that example I'm trying to give you is that's one little hustle that I have but that hustle using that book I had to always be ready to go behind it it was my hustle I'd pay 30, 40, 50 bucks sometimes for, for one of them books I'd tape it I'd number it I'd rent it out yeah you know it wasn't the, this big money hustle but look every day Ten times a day, someone's coming by with a soup, a honey bun to rent it. Man, over time, I way more than quadruple times five my money, you know. And then I would get tired of hitting it myself, and then I'd off the whole book at a, at, a, at a price and get another one, you know. That was a lot of drama behind that. A lot of drama behind that because there's always people trying to get over. And and not even only not even for the simple fact that they're trying to rip pages, gangs would come. One of their brothers would you know throw me a honey bun or a soup, okay, and he'd get it, and then he'd take it back to the back stall, do his thing, right? But now you got a peak game. I'm not back there like this watching him do it, but I'm just you know in my bunk, you know, waiting for it to come back. It's been ten minutes. How, how long is it gonna take you? You know, it, it, it's you. It should be. It should only take about a minute. Uh, just saying, um, you know. Um, you watch him, you know. He, you, you have to straighten somebody. Hey, man, what are you doing, bro? You carry, you carry the book back, like like it's a regular magazine. But what if the police saw that, and they knock it off? You disrespecting me, bro? Like you have to go in behind that man. Or not only that, maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't put it under his shirt and carry it back to you. Maybe he, you're watching him and he slides it to his brother because gangs always do that. They, 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 they gave me the honey bun of the soup to to rent it from me. But now you know he's got ten brothers, and and by the time he gets back, he's let four of them, four of them borrow it, and and and, it, and it's sideways disrespecting you. So there's a lot of drama with every hustle. A cell phone there's is is dramatic hustle. Is dram, is drama upon drama upon drama upon drama, and with an F book, a good ex I'm, I'm using this example for a couple of reasons, right? With an F book. If you don't have no money, it, we're talking about a soup or a honey bun. I could be like, nah, I, you can't borrow it. If I'm all right with you and you didn't have no money, if you didn't have no money, you're like, hey man, let me let me hit it, man, let me hit it. I got you when money comes on. Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot it to you. But if I never talk to you and you just know that I got it, because the the dorms like Big Mac got the hose, then you know it's on me to say yes or no. But but but. 90% of the time, I'll be like, nah, man, you're dead. You're dead. Bring it to the wood. With a cell phone, you can't do that. Listen, you will see gangs inside a prison have something going on. 
me and my bros have done the same thing. You know, there's, there's, you know, 20 of us at once, all together, and we have some stuff going on, but we're not talking about it openly. We're not being loud about it. Every time you see one of us is whispers and this and that because we don't want nobody to know what's going on. Nobody in your business. You gotta be not friendly. You gotta yeah, open shut door in prison because the second somebody knows something, the whole pound knows it and that's the worst thing possible. Sure, some, if I tell somebody no to borrow my F book and they get in their feelings, they can hurt me big. They can hurt me big. Now, they don't have to beat me. They don't have to whoop me. They don't have to put no violence to me because that's nothing. I'd rather get my, get my ass kicked than somebody tell on me because now all they do is fly a kite. They get a request form, you know, Big Matt, bunk 182, lower, contraband, and, and shoots it. I don't know who did it. There's 80 men in this damn dorm. Now they come rush my bunk and there goes a $50 magazine. There goes my hustle if that's my only one I got going on. Just imagine a cell phone. A cell phone is very, very, very difficult. There's so much drama behind this thing. It's not like your, your cell phone you have in your pocket. It's not like that. You don't have a, a, a battery charger to just yank it in the wall whenever, when everything goes dead. It's not like that. You gotta make one with batteries. You gotta, be, you gotta know how to MacGyver to make one. There's time to do that. You have to have somebody watching out for the police when you charge the phone. And then everybody and their mother all freaking day wants to get on that. And, and not just for phone calls. People want to go on their Instagram. People want to go on their social media. People are dying to talk to their old ladies. You know, but more importantly, there's money to be made with a cell phone. Again, going back to the wall phone that the institution has, you can only say so much on that thing. You can't set licks up on that. They're listening. They're recording it. You know, you can't do a lot. You, can, you, you can't do 95% what you can do on a cell phone. On a cell phone, you can, you can set a lot of things up to make money, to make your whole bid good. Okay? People want to talk to their old ladies. People want to do all... People want to talk, you know, maybe they got wifey on the wall phone, but they want to, they want to call the side piece on the cell phone so, so the side piece can come visit this. There's a million different scenarios here I, I can paint. Okay, but man, that is drama all day, and and nobody, everybody, and everybody can't just have one, because you can't. It's very hard to tell people no. Sure, yeah, you can tell people no, but this man, we're talking about a fifty dollar magazine. That's my hustle, versus a five hundred dollar phone. That get that knocked off, man. It's a different ball game, and I'm telling you, man. They will fly them kites on you. Ain't nobody, everybody can't just have one, okay? Me and my bros, we could have had one. We could have had one, okay? The, the, oppor the opportunity did not come, and I would have been the first one to say no if it did. Like I said, I would always pay to get on one because I'd rather pay a couple dollars off money I'm already making for free to use it than deal with that drama. But... If I didn't have a squad of honkies with me, there's no way in there's no way in hell that I could have one by myself, not affiliated. Man, look, there's gang wars, gang wars behind cell phones. I remember, I remember at homes the G's and the Bloods went to a full-on war behind cell phone multiple times. Just and and it was solely on. They got it. We're going to run down on and get that for the set. Because look, whoever's got the phone is making the, is making the moves and got the most money. You know, and, and, and also there's so much drama that, that plays into this. It's very hard to explain. But, you know, if, if, the, if the blood's got a phone, you know, they're making all they're making all the moves. They got all they got all the dope. They got all they got everything going on. You know, imagine, you know, if, if, let's just stick with the G's. Imagine being a GD and you're in the dorm with the Bloods, right? And you got maybe like eight brothers in this dorm. But the whole, but the dorm's locked down. The Bloods are moving everything. Man, you're, you're in a set. Like, like, and regardless if you were in that gang, if you were on the street bumping, you know, banging GD, you got your connections, you got your people, whatever, you always were making money. You don't want to be in a set and starving. Or, or, or waiting on the card 
and, and, and you have to watch these bloods eat in front of you, running stuff in front of you. So, a fan, I see YouTubers and with the whole phone thing and this and that, and I see people, um, I just see a lot of, um, not the truth, man, on YouTube. Um, you know, the dude K Frog, I've said this before in prior videos. I don't got no, no issue with him or nothing, but, you know, I don't, you have to look at things for what they are. You know, look, look, look who he was with inside the joint. You know, there's the dude Shine, this and that. If you if you, if you've ever really watched what happened behind that, what I'm saying is the truth. You know, no 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 neutron can hold a phone in Florida. It's just not going to go down like that. It don't even matter if you're bumping. You could be White Mike Tyson. You're not going to hold a phone. You just can't. They're going to run down on you. It, it is the way it goes. And, and, and you wouldn't want that. You would not want that. A, a lot of times on this YouTube thing, people say, clout, clout, clout. So, you know, the internet, their, their word of clout would be, this, would be, if I had to give an example, would be if, if you had a phone in prison, you would definitely have some clout. Because everybody's going to you, everybody's wanting to use it. And you have to be real strategic of how you dish it out. You know, I've seen dudes rent it out or do favors, rent it out, lend somebody. Man, you can get on it for a couple minutes and never get it back. And never get it back. Man, it goes down, man. A cell phone is something, man. Um, really, you see organizations. Uh, organizations, you know, dictating phones. You know, you got to have a squad of people. You know, you really do. Because... Like I said, everybody and their mother is trying to get on this thing. Is it possible? Not in my book. You know, not in my book. No way. It's just not going to happen. That you're going to get ran down on, man. And I'm going to end this video and I'm going to tell a little story about um, when I got ran down on. You know, but uh, it's just not possible, man. A cell phone is, is the most important hustle inside the chain gang. Hands down. Hands down. It's a money maker beyond money maker. I mean, it's in it, the same out here. But hey, man, check out the the members video right next to the subscribe button that you already should have smashed. On the way out, smash the like, hit the algorithm, leave a comment, share it for a, for a real white boy. And man, until the next one, stay out, stay safe, and stay solid. Watch these videos with a grain of salt with these dudes, man. Uh, I keep telling everybody, man, this is the real white boy channel. Until the next one.